older batteries for the more uh, uncommon guns are uh, nickel cadmium and some of the batteries are specifically shaped for uh, electric models like the Well D91 Uzi, uh, the Crossman Pulse R71 which batteries are super hard to come, not super hard but they're uh, a bit of a pain to come by. And um, so here we have, for example, it, this is a Pulse R71. Well, I believe this is the first edition. It's got, you know, all the typical characteristics of an MP5. Later versions like the TAC R91 um, had some sort of G36 um, iron sights, upper body. And these take those hard to find Crossman batteries. I don't know why I dragged that out so much, but. Um, and again, these have a NICAD battery inside them. They have the contacts exposed, and then you can't buy these online anymore unless you buy like a used gun on eBay. So, uh, very important that you uh, try to repair these because uh, they are difficult to come by. The, the chargers, too. Well, the chargers are a 5.5 uh, center positive. Uh, is it five point? I'll put it in the description. It's center positive, and then um, you know I actually have that exact model of charger. So um, while we're on topic of the uh, Crossman MP5 batteries, um, I have one right here. It's an 8.4 volt, 120 milliamp uh, model number, and again center positive. This is model number HJ-UL-084120. So, this is the kind of power supply that you need if you're trying to fix or uh, recharge a Crossman MP5 battery. I believe these also work with um, current generation uh, Where is it? Anyway, oh I've got one right here. This one's kind of taken apart, but works with the current generation uh, Again, the contacts are on top. Uh, this is I. This these are all well magazines. These are all OEM by well, and this charger also works with the, uh, the this kind of magazine. I'll give some model numbers. Uh, this is for the. I'm not sure what this one came with, but I believe this is for the the, the Pulse D92. So that's just an example. And so, yeah, th there's an 8.4 volt model and then there's a 7.2 volt model. So, all right, now that we got that out of the way. So this R71 is working and here's the first battery. one works and then this one works and then I had one which um, I, I, I missed uh, I inaccurately thought that if it was reading good voltage uh, from multimeter then it's good but unfortunately the moment I would try to fire this gun with this battery is that um, it would barely just for like half a second try to cycle the gearbox and then it just wouldn't work anymore. So I figured I had a dead NICAD battery and when I did all I had to do was uh, there's two screws here and I was able to remove the battery pack from uh, or just expose it because I didn't want to take out the whole thing. I just exposed the batteries and then I put it in the freezer for about two hours I think and then at the moment I took it out I took out the battery pack actually I didn't and I just took the bottom of a screwdriver and just pounded the hell out of it for like a minute straight <laughs> probably could have been a bit more gentle with that but anyway so after all that and then I recharged it So the cyclic rate 
Uh, it's definitely a bit lower than these other two good batteries, or previously good batteries, but I mean, that's something, right? I mean, at least it works. Um, charges up to the point of heating up, so I think we have... So that was a rather abusive fire rate, but as you can see, it still performs pretty well. It's still uh, cycling the gun, even on semi-auto. So uh, this one I might have to keep an eye on for, but anyway, that's how I fixed one of these super rare uh, well MP5 battery magazines. So if you've got a dead one of these or just a dead NICAD battery in general, um, just put it in the freezer and then uh, just hit it with something hard and then the, the theory behind that is that it makes the, the crystal dendrites that form on a uh, NICAD battery uh, it makes them more fragile and then when you hit them they just kind of shatter so I mean I'm not a battery expert but that's just what I read and it appears to have worked so Yep. Hopefully this uh, method can help some of you out with older guns, or just a dead NICAD in general. And uh, it looks like I'm sure I decompress the spring. So that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope we can save some batteries with this.